Do you want to know how to raise a strong-willed child? Well, you're not alone. I'm Nicolene Peck and I was a strong-willed child. So I can definitely tell you what to do and what not to do in this video. now I've been teaching people the principles and skills of self-government, teaching them how to control themselves, take ownership of themselves and their behaviors. And to do this, a person needs a certain amount of strong will. So do you think a strong-willed person is bad? Well, not true. A strong-willed person has great potential and I should know because I am a strong-willed person. And if I weren't, I probably wouldn't be as good at teaching self-government government as I do. In this video, we're going to talk about strong-willed people, what you need to know about them, and how you can help guide them in the right direction. So let's talk about strong-willed people. Strong-willed people like things their way, okay? They do. They feel like they're pretty smart, and they want to tell you about what they think about their smarts. They also think they see solutions that you don't see. And guess what? Lots of times, it's true. They do. They see the world through a different lens. The strong-willed person oftentimes has a more confident persona than other people around them. That can make them hard to bear because they feel like they can just go and do whatever it is. And if it succeeds, great. And if not, no problem. They'll figure it out. They have confidence to burn. My mom used to always tell me that, Nicolene, you have confidence to burn. Well, I think my confidence is a gift. I think it was something that was given to me so that I could do the job that I needed to do in this world. In fact, I think that all strong-willed people have a gift. The gift of seeing the world through a different lens and having enough bravery to step up and say, I know something and I wanna tell you about it. There are many people that know things that don't ever step out and say, Say anything. There are a lot of passive people in the world that are timid and not sure if they should be vocal about something. Those people have great ideas, but they only tell their ideas to people that are close to them. The people that are strong-willed, though, will lots of times be brave enough to say it to a whole committee of people, to a whole nation of people, at the United Nations, maybe, on a legislative floor. Those people do things that other people feel are frightening. So that strong-willed person that you live with, they can do great things. But if that strong-willed person refuses to learn a truth, then you've got yourself a problem. Now let's talk about truth and the strong-willed person. The strong-willed person is actually obsessed with truth. You should know that. In fact, they're looking for it. They want to find it. They want to find it though. That's the key thing. They want to find it. They're not always humble enough to admit when that truth is coming from someone else. This is why we use words for strong-willed people like hard-headed, right? That they don't, it's like nothing can sink in because they already have a way that they feel like they see the world and they don't want anyone to change that view or that lens. They feel it is true and that it is right and they are going to hold on to it. But if you can help a strong-willed person find even just one truth that they didn't know before, suddenly be they become a little bit more teachable than they were before. That certainly happened for me. When I was 14 years old, I had a hard time getting along with my parents. In fact, I had a lot of altercations with my parents where there was yelling that happened and sometimes even hitting that happened. And I have to admit, I even did some of the hitting sometimes. That's how strong-willed I was. Well, I ended up ruining my relationship with my parents. They could not trust me, so I didn't get to go and do a lot of things with friends. Well, one day, I was explaining this situation to a neighbor of mine, a woman, an adult, and I told her I don't hardly get to do anything anymore and she gave me a challenge. She knew I was strong-willed. She knew that I wouldn't just take what she said at face value. She knew I'd have to test it. And so she conducted a test. She said, you know this party that we just planned? Well, we're gonna postpone it for two weeks. You go home and for two weeks, Every time your parents tell you to do something or not to do something, say okay and be okay. I told her that would never work. 
That's what they want me to say. Because a strong-willed person thinks you don't get your way by doing what other people want you to do. That's outside of the lens I was looking through. I was playing the victim here. But she said, no, you go home and do it. I won't talk to your parents, but I promise you that something's going to happen. I didn't believe her, so I went home to prove her wrong. And every time my parents started telling me to do something or not to do something, I said, okay. And I chose to be okay. Something happened. One day, my mom said to me, you know, Nicolene, you really need to clean your room. I hadn't cleaned my room for months. At this point, I looked at her and I said, okay. And I started cleaning my room. She was amazed. We're talking blown away. She stood there in the doorway of my room for like 20 minutes watching me in disbelief. While I was cleaning my room, something happened. Because I was willing to do what my parents said, just for the sake of the experiment, suddenly I had stopped looking through the same old lens. I was seeing life with new eyes and this voice came into my head and it said, I am so powerful. And I thought, yeah, I am so powerful. I just picked to be happy. I picked it. No one is ever going to stop me from being happy again. I'm just gonna pick it. No one can take my happiness away. I found a truth. The truth was I picked, I chose. I chose to say, okay, be okay, be happy. I chose to clean my room. Nobody made me do it. Even if my parent would have argued with me, they couldn't make me do it. I picked. That was a truth I needed. That was the beginning of me learning self-government. It changed my whole life. It changed everything I do as a person. In fact, I brought troubled youth into my home to teach them self-government, knowing they were probably all strong-willed because I knew it was possible. And it's because of that that the BBC asked me to be on the program, The World's Strictest Parents. And it's because of that that people asked me to write books. And it's because of that that I'm here on YouTube doing this video. All because I chose to say okay and be okay. Our children need that much power and we can help them learn it. So how do we raise this strong-willed child? How do we help them think that the idea to change was really their own? Well, it's possible we're gonna talk about that, but first, subscribe to this channel. Everything on this channel is going to help you with your strong-willed child, I guarantee it. Having conversations with a strong-willed person is really important. Having lectures is really counterproductive, but having conversations where they have input, they can share ideas is really good. The strong-willed person likes to share ideas, so I highly recommend having regular conversations. In our family, we have three different types of meetings that we do. We have a couples meeting, that's for husband and wife, family meetings, that's for the full family, and then we have mentor meetings, that's parents and the child, just one-on-one. Those meetings are the meetings that help everybody discuss things and take ownership for their own behaviors and relationships. They are powerful. So having regular meetings where you can talk about your goals, your frustrations, your relationships are going to be super important. Let that child that is a strong-willed child lead out in some of the solutions for how to solve problems. That will help them take more of an ownership in the way they are communicating with the people people in the family. So that's number one. Number two, teach the child skills they need for success. Now at first, they're not going to want to learn them. In fact, at first, they are going to think that you're treating them like a baby or that you think that they don't know how to communicate with other people. It's kind of ironic because they're struggling with it and they really don't know and they do need help, but the strong-willed person does not want to see that truth yet. So instead, just say, listen, if you use these skills, you'll end up getting more of what you want. I promise. Because you can just tell me, mom, can I disagree appropriately about something? And I'll listen to you every time. We won't have to argue. There won't have to be problems. Now that could rub a really oppositional strong-willed person the wrong way because they might like those little oppositional moments where they power struggle with you. And they might want to keep doing that and not disagree appropriately. They might not want to use your words. They might want to say, I don't want to call it disagree appropriately. I want to call it disagree respectfully. And then you can say, well, if you would like to disagree appropriately about changing the name of disagree appropriately, then I would be happy to hear your disagreement. 
and then let them do it and tell them, okay, you can call it disagree respectfully. That's fine. Okay. Let them use the skill set for disagree appropriately though. And there is a seven step process for that. So teach them those four basic skills of self-government that I talk about all over this channel and in my courses and books. Also teach them that you will correct them every time. The strong-willed person doesn't love that on the outside, but on the inside they do. They actually want boundaries. Every child wants boundaries. They want you to stop them. They'll recognize later that you were right, even though they won't tell you you were right until they're older, more mature, and a little bit more humble, but they will recognize it. They will learn from it. Keep teaching the strong-willed person, even though they act like they don't want the teaching and they don't want the connection. They do need it. And the way that you correct them is vital. Make sure that it's loving, calm, caring, understanding. That is all talked about in my TSG parenting course. There are so many more things that you need to help the strong-willed child, and I would like to give them to you. There is a full-length class that is here on this channel called The Not-So-Known Secret for Parenting Success. The Not-So-Known Secret for Parenting Success is self-government. And in that class, I share with you a lot of the skills and principles of self-government so that you can start utilizing them with your family. So go to the not so known secret for parenting success today and you will get all the skills that you need to help that strong-willed child.